Now to a growing crisis in our hospitals that the health minister says is being driven by a flu spike that's already killed 10 West Australians. Doctors say yesterday was the worst ever recorded for overcrowding in our emergency departments. Patients are dying as they wait to be treated. Let's bring in Tracy Vaux now. Tracy, what is the scale of this problem? Well, Michael, paramedics yesterday waited outside hospitals for 217 hours in total because staff were too busy to treat patients and it's Perth's biggest hospitals that are under the most strain. Fiona Stanley Hospital, Sir Charles Gardner and Midland Hospital are some of the worst affected. Ramping in Western Australia is a crisis. We have seen more ramping in 2019 than we've ever seen before. This ramping is resulting in deaths in our community. Flu cases are up 85% compared to this time last year. The Health Minister says influenza is undoubtedly putting pressure on emergency departments, but he says this is the worst situation we've seen in six years. And the fear is it could get even worse, as authorities warn of a Perth vaccine shortage. A quick jab is all it takes to ward off a potentially deadly bout of the flu. But for West Australians, it's becoming harder by the day to get, with some doctors running out of the influenza vaccine. The problem is actually with the private sector vaccines, which are available to everyone who's not on that high-risk list, and we are hearing that there are severe shortages in that market. The reason why... People are aware and... People are now used to the fact that community pharmacy is a destination for influenza vaccines. Some pharmacists across Perth say they've been forced to turn away patients. We've been completely out for a couple of weeks now. Can't get any stock. The flu's come and it's hit hard and fast um, and there's lots of people who aren't protected from it. So far this year there have been 3,243 reported flu cases across the state. More than 1,800 patients with flu symptoms have flocked to Perth hospitals this week alone. It's killed 139 Australians. There have been 10 deaths so far in WA. The same time last year there were four. And peak flu season season is still another two months away. But those who get the shot for free need not fear. It's being stockpiled for babies, pregnant women and people over 65. However, we certainly don't want to get to a situation at the end of the season where the government's got vaccine it throws in the bin and hundreds of thousands of West Australians haven't had any access. The advice to patients is to call ahead first and check availability of the flu vaccine, which costs around $30. And the flu crisis is also putting a strain on the state's blood bank. Cassandra Bain, there's been a serious drop in supply. Yes, Michael, it's an alarming figure. Up to 1,400 donors across the nation are cancelling their appointments each day because they're too sick to donate. And that's got the Red Cross worried, especially because there's a long weekend coming up and that's expected to put extra pressure on blood supplies. In particular, there's a desperate need for people with A and O blood types for life-saving donations. Michael? Cassie, thank you.